Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 106 a.m., and it's Thursday, May 6, 2021. And I'm not really for sure if I was going to be doing this one as a um, regular drink review or as an energy drink review, but I think I'm going to do it as an energy drink review, so you know what I mean? So yeah, this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review, so you know what I mean? But um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing a soda that's interesting because um it's like highly caffeinated compared to like other sodas, so you know what I mean? But um, anyway... I first seen this in the vending machine at the Glenpool Walmart, like, um, last year. And I thought it was, like, weird. I'd just never seen it before, you know? And it was weird that it was, like, sort of like a mainstream drink, but I never heard of it. Because it was, like, by the A&W Root Beer and Sierra Mist and stuff. Um, so, you know, that was interesting in, like, Pepsi and stuff. But, um, yeah, this is, like, a, basically, like, a highly caffeinated version of Dr. Pepper, but it's made by a different company. So, you know what I mean? So anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Doc X Soda. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got it in the can. Got it in the vending machine at the McAllister Walmart. Um, I seen it outside the vending machine when I got there. And then I went inside. And when I got, it was the same day I got those G Fuel Energy drinks. And it was like in another cooler across from that cooler, you know. Um, I found that they had the bottled version. So I'm going to be doing it today. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna do thumbnails, it's a pop soda version, like the bottle version, the canned version. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, the can I got for 50 cents. But the soda version um, is more expensive, it's like $1.50 or so, so you know what I mean, but um, anyway, um, the can version has um, 60 milligrams caffeine, compared to like a can of Pepsi, which only has like 38 milligrams caffeine, so about almost twice as much caffeine as a can of Pepsi, and the bottle version, um, it has um, 100 milligrams caffeine, so oh yeah boys, it will get you a little lit, you know, just saying, so oh yeah. But um, anyway, on the top of the lid it says Proudly Bald in the USA by Independent Bottlers. It's like a um, black colored soda. Very dark colored. Doc X. Explosive black cherry soda. So, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah. 20 fluid ounces, 591 milliliters, 250 calories per bottle. Doc X. Nutrition facts, one serving per container. Serving size, one bottle amount per serving calories, 250 Total fat, 0 grams, 0 percent. Sodium, 100 milligrams, 4 percent. Total carbohydrates, 69 grams, 25 percent. Total sugar, 69 grams. Includes 69 grams added sugars, 138 percent. Protein, 0 grams. So yeah, it's like high in sugar, you know, just like the Mountain Dew sodas and stuff. It has other ingredients. Uh, nothing too interesting. Caffeine content, 100 milligrams per 20 fluid ounces. It has SKU. And it's made by a company that I've seen before. I can't remember which drink it was, but I think it was a drink that I reviewed this year. I think it may have been those Twister drinks. I'm not really for sure. It says prepared by Whiz Pack Incorporated, Watertown, Wisconsin, 53094. Phone number is 1-800-910-2837. Please recycle as a recycling logo. It has some other recycling stuff, so that's pretty much the whole label. So, you know what I mean? But um, anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. Not too much on the bottle, you know. I'll show you the can right quick, too has a big X on it, and Doc, you know, has a black top with a red tab. Best Buy, August 30th, 2021. So it's still fresh for a little while, you know. There's some nutrition facts on this one, I'm not gonna read it off, but you know what I mean, I'm just gonna show it to you right quick, and SKU. KU. Their ingredients and stuff, it's a little bit hard to see. Can't really see that text good. Sorry about that. But you know what I mean? But I'm anyway. Here's some nutrition facts. And other ingredients and stuff. This one you can see it a little bit easier. 
it's printed better anyway, but on the can. The text is still a little little though, see what I mean? But um, anyway, okay, that's pretty much the entire bottle. Shake it up a teeny bit, you know, not really too much because the soda is probably carbonated. It's already bubbly and stuff, but anyway, I'm gonna open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay. Okay, open it. It's starting to bubble at the top. Not too much. Nothing on the inside of the lid. Very bubbly now. Definitely carbonated, but I'm anyway the smell. Yep. Basically, it smells like um, Dr. Pepper, but um, it's the smell isn't as strong as like Dr. Pepper. It smells more like a like a knockoff brand a little bit of Dr. Pepper. A little bit like um. A little bit more like the Dr. Thunder or maybe the Pib Extra. Um, doesn't really smell like a little bit spicy like the um, Pib Extra is though. But it is still like a cherry, like cola type of smell. Um, but yeah. Um, definitely black cherry, but um. Sweet, but um. I don't know, a little bit, um, a watered down type of scent, um, not really too strong of a scent, but I'm anyway now I'm going to try it, so here goes. <clears throat> oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't really like Dr. Pepper, it's like one of my least favorite sodas, but, um, this is still pretty good though. Um, it tastes similar to Dr. Pepper, because, you know, it's like a cherry soda type of thing too. But, um, it's definitely more syrupy. A little bit, um, flatter tasting, even though it's not flat, you know? It's, um, a little, has a little bit more of a watered-down type of taste compared to, like, um, real Dr. Pepper. But, um, anyway. This is more like the, um, Dr. Pepper you get at, like, the Red Lobster restaurant, you know? Because I go, used to go to the Red Lobster restaurant a lot, you know? in Tulsa, whenever we go, and, um, I don't know, their Coke and stuff, and their Dr. Pepper and stuff, I don't know why it just tasted, like, flat all the time, even though it was, like, fresh, though, from, like, their fountain or whatever, you know, I don't know why, it was just seemed, like, flat to me anyway, it tasted flat, this is a little bit like that, you know, it's good, but, um, yeah, I think I like um, Dr. Pepper more than this, though, flavor-wise. Because that uh, real Dr. Pepper is, like, more carbonated and um, doesn't taste as flat. Sometimes it does, if you get the two liters. But um, in the can, Dr. Pepper is, like, way better than this, though. I'm about to try the can version of this to see if the can version is better than the bottle version. So we shall see. But, yeah, this does taste like similar to Dr. Pepper and stuff, like a black cherry soda. Sweet. Um, a little bitter, but not too much. But, yeah. It's pretty good, but, um, I don't know, it's just similar to, like, a lot of other, like, um, knockoff versions, versions of, like, Dr. Pepper or whatever, you know? Nothing too interesting flavor-wise. It just has, like, more caffeine, I guess. But, um, now I'm gonna try the can version. So, you want me to shake it up a teeny bit and then open it. And the color is basically the same as the other version. Bubbles like a brown and stuff, and just spilt some on me. And on my shirt. Uh, I gotta get a napkin. Okay, I wiped it off and wiped my hands off because I had a wet napkin from inside work still in my pocket, but you know what I mean? But yeah, the can version smells basically the same. But um, anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. And yeah, I think I like the canned version a little bit better than the bottled version. Um, it doesn't taste as flat as the bottled version, even though it tastes similar, you know. Still basically that same flavor, but um, this this tastes um, less watered down, a little bit stronger flavor-wise, you know. So you know what I mean? But um, anyway, yeah, I like it, but um, I don't know. I think I still like um, regular Dr. Pepper better than this, but you know what I mean? But um, it's still pretty good. Definitely better than like um, the dollar store like version, you know. And like I'm um, the Dollar Tree version, you know, but you know what I mean? But I'm um, anyway, still really good. Definitely try it if you can find it. It's a little bit hard to find.
So far, I only found the can version at the Glenpool Walmart. And I found the can version and the bottle version at the McAllister Walmart. But like the other Walmarts near me, do doesn't have this. So you know what I mean? It's a little bit hard to find. And like I haven't found this at any gas stations or anything. So you know what I mean? But I'm um, anyway. So it might be a little bit hard for you to find. But um, the taste is pretty good. Especially, definitely get the can version though. It's better than the bottle version to me anyway. And it's cheaper too. But um, anyway, I say for the can version, energy wise. Has about twice as much caffeine as like a can of Pepsi, so you want to mean it'll get you a little lit. So energy-wise, it lasts about um, 30 minutes to about an hour of energy at the most for the can version. The ball version, I'd say it lasts about um, an hour of energy to about an hour and a half energy at the most. So, you know, it works definitely pretty good. But yeah, it'll give you a little bit of a boost. So you know. But yeah, it's pretty good, cheap, it tastes good. It has a cool can design. I like it, so definitely try it if you can find it. I'm going to give the Doc X Soda. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, definitely try if you can find it. It's really good. Especially the canned version. But, um, yeah, still, definitely try it though. I give it a 9 out of 10. But, um, anyway, my next two reviews are going to be the new Buy a Boost, um, like energy water type of drinks. Stay tuned for those reviews. There are my upcoming reviews. Some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And hopefully my package will be here in the mail tomorrow. Tomorrow's the earliest day I'm supposed to get it in the mail. The special drinks that I'm going to be reviewing. So stay tuned for that. See you more reviews, more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.